may not be able to tell, but I'm actually standing next to a bike lane right now. And not just any bike lane, but one of Philadelphia's most used buffered bike lanes. Spruce and Pine Streets in Center City, Philadelphia are used by thousands of cyclists each day. In fact, at rush hour, 300 cyclists are using the lane per hour. But due to legislative compromises, a lack of enforcement, and underfunding of the city's streets department, these lanes, like so many others around the city, have been whittled down to an almost unrecognizable path. Spruce and Pine Streets, despite being an important artery for cyclists throughout Philadelphia, are the most abused by motorists parking their cars in the entire city, according to Philadelphia Parking Authority data. There's always an obstacle. It doesn't matter where you are on the street, there's some kind of an obstacle. Especially on a weekday, there's cars parked in them. Cars don't hesitate to come in it without looking. There's trucks, there's um, cars, people dropping people off. They don't treat it as a bike lane, they treat it as an extra lane. Sometimes I don't even realize there's a bike lane there. Many of these blocks are no parking zones, a compromise made between the city and the neighborhood when they were first installed in 2009. That means a motorist can pull over and park for up to 20 minutes. But since they are also the most abused bike lanes, according to the PPA, that means people are not just pulling over to unload groceries. They're pulling over to, as we can see behind us, unload entire trucks and often just park all day. As Bicycle Coalition of Greater Philadelphia volunteers found recently, there are about four cars parked in the bike lane per hour on each block during the morning rush. During the evening rush, there are about two cars parked per hour in each block of the bike lane. To make matters a million times worse, a cyclist was killed in November 2017 while riding on Spruce Street. Emily Fredericks was hit by a private trash truck when it turned into the lane. Clearly, something needs to be done about these lanes. And something is being done, but it's not enough. The city has come up with a plan to switch the bike lane from the right side of the street to the left side of the street in order to lessen the motorist's blind spot so hook crashes become less prevalent. The city also intends to protect the intersections, forcing motorists to make slower, wider turns. As cyclists know all too well, and as the data show, if people can park in a bike lane and, as we recently saw, drive in the bike lane to get past some traffic, they will. And as long as the entire street is not protected or is not enforced, especially during rush hour, people will continue to do that. That's why we want to see a better, longer term plan for these streets after Spruce and Pine are restriped and the intersections are protected in spring 2019. Maybe that means keeping motorists from parking in the bike lane during rush hour through better enforcement. Maybe it means protecting the lanes in full with something better than plastic flexi posts. Philadelphia's cycling community needs a better plan to keep cars and trucks out of the bike lane. Thousands of lives depend on it each day. It's just, there's so many cars.